he should have a snow white head and a pure white tail. You can see she still has a bit of brown on it. She still has a couple of white feathers here. And if you look really close, I'm sorry, I can't get off the carpet. There's just not enough room there. For those of you up close may see that it looks like she has dirt on her beak or that it's smudged. She still has gray. Um, when bald eagles first leave the nest, their first you know, winter, when they're under a year old, their beaks are black and their eyes She's still are black. young enough that she kind of became habituated to humans for food. <coughs> Whatever happened, the novelty wore off, and by July, she was dumped at Seminole Reservoir State Park, which is just between Rollins and Sinclair, North Carolina. The same <laughs> agent pulled her out, drove her a little bit further east, closer to the North Platte, source of water. They're fish hunters, but they also scavenge a huge amount. Well, this time she made it all the way almost down to Saratoga. Two and a half weeks later, they get a call again, and she's on like a dude ranch, and she's sitting on the foundation of like a cabin that was under construction. She's not afraid of the dogs, the horses, the cattle, the people, and at this point, she's down to seven and a quarter pounds. She was starving. So she was the equivalent of like a 17-year-old girl. And I had one of those at home, and believe me, she treated me the exact same way. <laughs> She's actually so far a little bit more mellow now. So fun bald eagle trivia. Um, there are now in Colorado about 200 bald eagle nests. When our foundation got its start 40 years ago, this coming September, there were nine. There were nine in the entire state. The only one on the front range was the one at Bar Lake. And um, a couple of years ago, they counted for sure about 65. The numbers have skyrocketed. It's actually really amazing how many bald eagles there are in the United States.